Hi, Prof. Dominic. Why water conservation is important in today's context of climate change? In the first place, we notice a lot more extreme weather cases uh, everywhere in the world. For instance, in Malaysia, we used to be blessed with uh, steady weather. The last decade, we noticed that a lot more uh, unpredicted weather issues. For instance, uh, sudden floods, all these prolonged droughts. So all these things have been haunted us for the past decade. Whether we like it or not, this is time that we need to think about some serious measure about water conservation. Right, this picture shows us the extreme weather example where we have an extreme flood happen in Kelantan and other parts of the east coast of Peninsula Malaysia back in 2014. This was quite recent, just a couple of weeks ago, where Kuala Lumpur city centre had encountered another extreme flood. The reason is simple. The volume of water from the heavy downpour is simply too massive and the uh, current uh, drain system is unable to keep up. In the same year where we had an extreme flood in 2014, different parts of the country actually experienced uh, extreme hotness and dryness. Uh, this was a picture taken in 2014 as well. This is uh, Sunai Selangor Dam. You can see that throughout the whole year, from February to November, the water level was actually much lower than normal uh, levels. So all this, whether you like it or not, uh, climate change has already arrived. Right? Whether you experience it or not, it's already here in Malaysia. With the industry sector, we need to do something about it. We can say that the earth has caught a high fever. Okay? <laughs> high fever. <laughs> yes, yes, it's high fever. Some years back, people say that uh, 2014 was the hottest year in record. But the recent statistics shows that there's not, not hottest, it's always hotter. The United Nations have actually launched this sustainable development goal where 17 goals were put together so that the human being will do something to reach the sustainable development for the mother earth. Goal number 12 talk about responsible production and consumption. We should do something the industry in order to minimize our waste. Goal 6, for example, that talk about clean water and sanitation, we would have to do something to preserve water resources. Goal 13 is to achieve what we're trying to aim for to combat climate change. We believe that with uh, all the efforts that we work together, we should be able to keep the temperature rise of the Mother Earth below 2 Celsius. Hope that all of us can do something about it. Thank you, Prof. Dominic.